Hi all, welcome to Simple Engineering, Engineering Simplified. I am Dr. Neetu P.S. Today we are going to discuss two problems which is related to the half wave rectifiers. If you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing. Let's move to the video. So the first problem we are going to discuss is about half wave rectifiers. So the problem is a mains transformer having a turns ratio of 44 is to 1 is connected to a 220 volt RMS main supply. If the secondary output is applied to a half wave rectifier, determine the peak voltage that will appear across a road, across a load. So this is your half wave rectifier. You will be having a diode, auto transformer and here capacitive filter is used and this is your load resistance RL. So the in the question already RMS secondary voltage is given that is given as 220 volt. So we have to find that is uh, um, 220 volt RMS main supply from the main supply 220 volt is given and you have to find the RMS secondary voltage. So that is denoted as Vs which is equal Vp by 44 because your number of turns, turns ratio is given as 44 is to 1. So Vp your peak voltage that is given as or your RMS voltage it is given as 220 by your number of turns 44 gives 5 volt as your secondary voltage. Next is peak voltage that is developed after rectification that is given by VPK. We, here peak voltage is denoted as VPK which is equal to 1.414 into your secondary voltage that is Vs. So which is 5 volt here. So you will be getting a peak voltage as 7.07 .07 volt. Assuming that the diode which we have used is a silicon device with forward voltage drop of 0.6 volt. So your actual peak voltage drop across the load, load resistance RL. Here voltage drop across load resistance RL that is denoted as VL which is equal to your peak voltage that is 7.07 .07 volt minus as we are using a silicon diode, there will be a voltage drop of 0.6. So you have to reduce that 0.6 voltage from 7.07 .07 volt. So you will be getting uh, the voltage across your load as 6.47 volt. So here in the question, if the secondary output is applied to a half wave rectifier, we have to determine the peak voltage. So our peak voltage is 7.07 .07 volt and you have to check the voltage that appear across a load. So across the load our voltage is 6.47 volt as there is a voltage drop of 0.6 volt as we are using a silicon diode. So peak voltage VPK is equal to 7.07 .07 volt and load voltage is equal to 6.47 volt. Let's move to the problem 2. So the problem 2 is the RC smoothing filter in a 50 hertz mains operated half wave rectifier circuit consists of resistance R1 which is equal to 100 ohms and C2 is 1000 microfarad. If 1 volt of ripple appears at the input of the circuit, we have to determine the ripple amount of ripple that is appearing at the output. So this is a diagram. So this is RC smoothing circuit. So with the capacitive filter, uh, half wave rectifier with capacitive filter, we have an R and C connected across it. So we have to first determine the reactance of the capacitance C2 at a ripple frequency 50 Hz because RC smoothing filter in a 50 Hz mains operated half wave rectifier circuit. R1 and C1, uh, C2 is given. So Xc that is the reactance of the capacitance 
which is equal to 1 by 2 pi fc where frequency is given as 50 hertz capacitance 2 pi fc where frequency is given as 50 hertz capacitance is given as 1000 microfarad so xc your reactance of the capacitance xc is equal to 1 by 2 pi fc 2 into pi is 3.14 into 50 hertz into 1000 into it is microfarad so 10 to the power minus 6 so after solving this we will be getting xc as 3.18 ohms next we have to find the amount of ripple at the output of the circuit so amount of ripple is given as v ripple equal to 1 into xc by root of r square plus xc square so xc we have already found out that is 3.18 ohms and r is given in the question that is 100 ohms so xc is equal to 3.18 divided by root of r is 100 ohms so 100 square plus xc is 3.18 so 3.18 square so we will be getting 0 0.032 volt after solving this which is equal to 32 millivolt so the amount of ripple that is appearing at the output is equal to 32 millivolt hope this is clear for everyone if you find this useful please share it with others thank you